What are the three reasons the aggregate demand curve slopes downward? Wealth effect, interest rate effect, exchange rate effect. Wealth effect. Lower price level raises real value of households money holdings which are a part of their wealth. Higher real wealth stimulates consumer spending and thus increases the quantity of goods in. Services demanded. Interest rate effect. Lower price level reduces amount of money people want to hold as people try to lend out excess. Holdings interest rate falls, lower interest rate stimulates investment spending and thus increases. The quantity of goods and services demanded. Exchange rate effect. Lower price level reduces interest rate, investors move some funds overseas in search of higher returns, movement of funds causes real value of domestic currency to fall in market for foreign currency exchange, domestic goods become less expensive relative to foreign goods, change in the real exchange rate stimulates spending on net exports and thus increases quantity of goods in services demanded theory of liquidity preference Keynes theory that the interest rate adjusts to bring money supply and money demand into balance As interest rate rises, investment falls. Contractionary policy raises interest rate and reduces quantity of goods and services demanded. Left AD shift. Expansionary policy. Lowers interest rate and increases quantity of goods and services demanded. Right A D shift. Federal funds rate. Interest rate that banks charge one another for short term loans. Fiscal policy. The setting of the level of government spending and taxation by government policymakers. Multiplier effect. The additional shifts in the aggregate demand that result when expansionary fiscal policy increases income and thereby increases consumer spending. Investment Accelerator The positive feedback from demand to investment Marginal propensity to consume The fraction of extra income that a household consumes rather than saves Equation for Multiplier Effect 1. Crowding out effect The offset in aggregate demand that results when expansionary fiscal policy raises the interest rate and thereby reduces investment spending. Who implemented the Employment Act? Harry S. Truman, 1946. The Employment Act stated 
The government should avoid being a cause of economic fluctuations, but when large changes occur, monetary and fiscal policymakers should be aware and respond to others' actions.